Hi, Busy Bees! Welcome back to Busy Bees Kids Learning Place, where learning is fun and everyone belongs. Today, we're going to learn about multiplication. Don't worry, it's easy and we'll go slow. But before we buzz on, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe if you enjoy watching. Now let's buzz buzz along. Hi, today we will learn to multiply, or as we like to call it, multiplication, which simply means adding the same number again and again. Let's say you have three apple on one plate. Now what if you had three plates? That's three apples, three times. We can say it several ways, such as three plus three plus three equals nine, or three times three equals nine. Or we can say three times three equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we are going to try together, and you can even say the answer out loud. Two times three equals. That's two, three times. Two plus two plus two equals six. Or we can say it this way, two times three equals six. Four times one equals. Four, just once. That's easy, it equals four. Here's a cool trick. Skip counting. Let's skip count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and don't forget twelve. Great! You just counted by two six times. That's two times six, which equals twelve. And you did it simply by skip counting. Cool, huh? Two times six equals twelve. And remember, skip counting is just fast adding. You can try it with fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and so on. Fingers are great for learning. Let's do three times four using our fingers. Hold up four fingers. Now count by three each time. Three, six, nine, and that old twelve. That's right. Three times four equals twelve. Let's clap together. Multiply. Don't be shy. It's just adding, give it a try. Two times three is six. It's true. You can do it. We believe in you. We use multiplication every day. For example, if you bake four cupcakes and each tray has three, you'll have four times three, which equals 12 cupcakes. Four times three equals 12. Or we can say four plus four plus four equals, you guessed it, 12. Cakes. Or if you're setting the table, Let's say five tables with four plates each, which equals 20 plates. Five times four equals 20. Five plus five plus five plus five gives us 20. Let's go over some multiplication problems. Remember, kiddos, the more you practice, the easier it will be to multiply. The first level is the easy level. One times two equals two. Two times one equals two. Two times two equals four. One times five equals five. Two times three equals six. Next step, we have the threes and fours. 
Let's start. Three times two equals six, four times one equals four, three times three equals nine, four times two equals eight, three times four equals my favorite number 12. And let's not forget our fives and tens in our patterns. Five times one equals five, ten times one equals ten, five times two equals ten, ten times three equals thirty, and five times five equals twenty-five. Easy, huh? Let's work on these word problems just for fun. One, if you have two baskets and each basket has three apples, how many apples do you have in total? Two, a spider has eight legs. How many legs do two spiders have? Three. You have five packs of crayons. Each pack has six crayons. How many crayons are there? And here are our answers. Number one, two times three equals six. Number two, eight times two, which equals 16. And our final word problem is, of course, five times six, which equals 30. See, multiplication helps us in real life. Awesome job, busy bees. You learned what multiplication is, how to count in groups, and even sang a song. Don't forget, learning takes time. Go slow and keep practicing. You are smart. You are strong. You can do this. Thanks for watching. And of course, let's keep buzzing and learning together. Until next time. Little feet are marching in a line. Busy hands are crafting, looking mighty fine.